And welcome back everyone, I'm Zemberry. Now as we're playing Time Gentlemen, please, with Ben and Dan. Last time we were trying to figure out how to get this crystal down. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get this crystal down. But let's just look around, maybe we'll see something useful. It's the bra brassy door to the escape pod. It doesn't look very secure, eh? I guess the trampling has shaken it loose. Okay. Can we go up the very safe stairs? There's no way I'm using those stairs. They look unpleasantly unpredictable. Aw, poor guy. <laughs> what about using Dan? You proud of these stairs, Dan? You proud of them? You think you did a stand-up job? I did the best I could. It's the seven or eight hour period you allocated for the job, yes. I'd like to see you try coding some stairs. I can only imagine how horrific and unsightly that'd turn out. Thank heavens we have you to provide us with stairs of such unparalleled beauty. Unparalleled beauty. Uh, but I want to talk to the dude. Dude. Hey, Willie. <laughs> hey, Willie. Oh, he has nothing to say. Cheery bye bye. Good day, my fine fellows. Okay. What happens if we throw more more dynamite into the core of the planet? Nothing bad can happen, right? Right? Uh oh. Oh, so it closed that. I see. It's a tiny hole leading directly down. It's a very deep planet by all accounts. Okay, so now it's closed. Hmm. I wonder. Huh. Can we put something here? Can't reach the door. It's pretty loose now, though. Hmm. I think that's a hint. More dynamite? That's not doing anything. I think we need the umbrella again, maybe? Up you go, little umbrella! More dynamite? I think I've done enough with these for now. No! Okay, it's... Hmm, it's standing there for a while, though. I know it's already extinct. What about the shitty hand? I can't use that on an unusual alien structure. Yeah, I, I suppose that's fair. Hmm, what can we use? The magnet? No. Can we use this magnetic tape? No. Huh. <laughs> bloody shit. <laughs> Fine, we won't rub anything in bloody shit, don't worry. Um, hmm. What about when we throw the dynamite again? What happens to the umbrella? <laughs> Ah, here we go! Whoa. Ah, damn it, another fucking puzzle. So we can't go back to the rip. Fuck. But we get the crystal and the umbrella. The umbrella is more important. Man, this weirdly. Weir weirdy beardy beardy rock thingy. I can sense its powers. It's a move object with the mind rock, a telekinetic crystal. You tell he, you tell uh, I can't read. Wow. We're not good at uh, fantasy tech. Oh, I think he wants the crystal. We have to use it. The crystal stops humming when I think about the plinth. It's obviously not movable with the crystal's tele telekinetic powers. Can't you just go there? Hey! 
You! What is this stupid thing? It's a crystal with curious telekinetic properties. I knew that, obviously. Does it do anything special? It's already special. More special than moving objects with the power of the mind? Yeah, more special than that. No. No, it does not. That is as special as it gets. Shame. Um, do you want it? Dan, do you want it? Say, Dan, can you do anything with this magical crystal? Well, given that we're in, in an artificial game world, I suppose I could transcribe the crystal in it into its core components. English doc. Binary! I can write down the binary code for the crystal. Which we can then take back to the real world. Seriously? You can do that sort of shit? Why aren't you more useful generally if you can do this magic shit? Fuck off. Have you got a pen? Uh, no. Wait a minute. What have you been writing on the map with this? <laughs> yeah, what have you been using on the psychic paper? How? I think of a location. And it just appears. Remember we helped Shakespeare invented? It's a single use only and it's almost full. Clive's covered the back of it with photorealistic draw drawings of naked ladies. Oh, let's have a look. No, I have to hold it in this one exact position. Otherwise I won't be able to see the map and I'll lose all sense of direction. Oh, right. Anyway, give me a sec. I can't take long to make shift a pen out of objects and things. That's true. We're pretty resourceful, we can make up a pen. Can we use the crystal as a pen tip? Actually, we have a feather. Can we use the feather? Tunnel in the fe fe feather float. Okay. I don't want the fe feather to float. We can use this as a pen, right? And I think... Can we use the blood? Yeah. It should provide... Utterly brilliant. My very own quill. Ready for writing. Perfect. We have a very grim quill. Here you go, Dan. Write it in blood. Hey, Dan. You want a tattoo? Sure. I'd like it to be a reference to the old Sierra Adventures, please. I'm sorry. I, I seem to have suddenly lost my appetite for painful inking procedures. Oh, what a shame. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Can we mix it? I should give Dan the crystal. Okay. Then I can transcribe the binary. Okay. Dan, here you go, buddy. Yes, we talked about this. Give him the crystal. Give him the crystal. I've got a pen. Yes. I've got a feather covered in alien blood sap. Which technically amounts to much the same thing. Let's do it. How is the- how does he know? Is this gonna take long? Okay, I have to be somewhere, guys. Thank god. You get all of that down? Sure did, Captain Numbers. Sweet. Let me know if you need help inputting it anywhere. Obviously. Oh, it's a bloody transcript. Um, so can we go use the crystal? No. Can we go to the basement? No, don't use the crystal. You're... Use the map. I can't get to the rip from here. But you teleport. Clever way over the lava, eh? Oh, not again. Uh, Dan, can you help me with this inputting business? Hey, sidekick. Who, me? Yes, you. About this binary. Oh yeah, that. That was useful of me, wasn't it? Sure was. Very brilliant. Now, can you do anything with it? Not here, I can't. Wait till we're in front of a computer or something. But we can't get to a computer. You're such a loser! 
Ah. Okay. Fucking go up those fucking stairs. I'm sort of scared to touch them, in all honesty. They sort of look like they might crumple in on themselves. Oh yeah, don't stand to the left corner. That's the bite point? Where your coordinates will be zero. And I didn't put any error checking, for instances of divide by zero. Ooh. What happens if I stand on the left-hand corner of the stairs? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously. And every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. It's kind of beautiful. Hmm, that's bad. Okay, alright. Important safety tip. Thanks, Egun. I still want to go up the fucking stairs. Why don't you just go up the stairs? Seriously. It's fine. Oh. Dan, do you want to go up the stairs? No. Willie, do you want to fuck off? Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to get up the fucking stairs. <laughs> oh, maybe we don't have to get up the damn stairs. You d can we use this with this? Please? Please? Yes! He's, it's telekinetic crystal after all it should should work. Yes. And we have a bridge, finally. Let's get out of this world. Get out of this world. Now. See how I made a walkway with the power of my mind? Pretty sweet, dude. Pretty sweet. Massively more dramatic than p putting a plank over it or something. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't go anywhere with that crystal. Why not? Why the hell not? Yeah. Because it only exists within this artificial construct. Inside the game world. You take it through the rip, there's a very real possibility. What? That it'll explode in into its composite parts. Composite what? Binary, man. Loads of ones and zeros all over the place. Pop it on the floor, I'm afraid it's limited to this room. Aww. Modern computer technology is so inherently lackluster. Bye bye, Crystal. I love you. I love you. Wild. Impossible telekine telekinetic properties. Well, I guess the dude can pick up the crystal now and we can go via the map to the basement. Do 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 do. Play the game. Oh wait, I have to ask Dan to like code the crystal in or something. I don't know. Uh, the top of the door is a small handle. Uh, look, crystal. It should be there. Crystal. Crystal lies on the floor. Pick up crystal. Something stops you from going near it. You sense it is powerful indeed and dangerous. Okay. So we can't pick it up? It's not dangerous. Hmm. Look at crystal. Did we already do that? I don't know. Crystal. Kill everyone. Uh, you don't understand at all. Why don't you want to pick up the crystal? Hmm. Use tablet? Do we are uh, you already used it, okay? Go down stairs. Well, fuck off. I think I know what I have to do though. I don't think we have to finish this game, but we do have to finish another game in the tower. In the tower. Take me to the tower. Yeah, and it was f impossible to win it, but we have something that might help us with te telekinetic powers in binary. Dan? 
Dan. Don't use Dan on Dan. Use Dan on game. So then, are you about ready to input this binary of yours into the computer thingy? Yep. Won't take a mo. It's only ones and zeros after all. Well, you go do your thing, little buddy. That was it. That was one press of a button. There you go. Hitler can now use the crystal. Perfect. It still is nigh useless as it was on Anubis though, I'm afraid. Why? Okay, let's play the game. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful game. Crystal! Can we use use the crystal on force field? It can't use this crystal directly on this force field. It should use it on that switch instead. This is a bad game. It tells you what to do. Exactly. Okay, use it on the switch then. It's beautiful. Ah. It worked. Ah. Oh, good. Oh, that's, that's the whole game. Perfect. Hurrah! Nearly there. Nearly there. Onward to level 5. How many levels is this tower, honestly? This looks pretty dangerous. It's a whirly, swishy machine of death. The blades look pretty sharp. Not to mention whirly and swishy. Yeah, I think we made that clear. Yeah. You first, chum. Yep, you first. So I don't think we're gonna get this by um, sneaking around it. What's this? Hmm. Hmm, Benjamin? Hmm, indeed, Daniel. This here blueprint appears to be a schematic. For those improbable whirling blades of death there. Oh. It's intriguing. What do we do with the schematic, I wonder? Blueprint for that whirling blades of death machine. Okay. Can we modify it? Well, I know who had blueprints about him. It was in the construction yard. Hey, oh dude. Here's the blueprint for level five. Take a look at these prints. Yeah, yeah. These look like proposed plans for the top floor. What about them? Can he change them? Make them less dangerous? No can do, mate. Hitler's lot would spot it a mile off. Wouldn't they? Yeah, they might be able to tell the difference. I thought this might go somewhere. Me too. I'm so disappointed that it didn't. You fucking suck, Frank. So, done much resisting lately? Look at me, Pickle. I'm constantly resisting stuff. Just doing it from the inside, you know? Subtle-like. Sticking it to Hitler where it hurts. By helping build an impenetrable fortress for him, right? From which he can terrorize people for years to come. Yeah, well, resisting isn't an immediate thing. You gotta chip, chip, chip away. Oh, I right fancy some chips right now. Me too. I would love some chips. Uh, where else? We need to modify plants. Can we use the bloody thing? I can't just scroll. Okay. Hmm. They're bound to know it's dodgy. If it's smeared in digital alien sap. Okay. Ah, but we have a device that kind of like makes it uh, makes it like new. And they will never be able to tell the difference. Actually, do we have enough items to rejuvenate Pal the robot? I think so. We had a cork, right? We can... Yeah, we can 
plug the wound thingy. Here you go, buddy. And now we just have to get you some oil. Poor pal. Shot in the face by a dino. The hole in the head is plugged. Just needs more oil. Do you have some oil? We do not. But I know how to make some oil. It's a chunk of quivering dino flesh. Natural resources waiting to happen. Waiting to be transformed into oil! So clever. Uh, what setting is it on? Left is youngificate. Yeah, we need it to oldify. Activate. Come on, give me that oil. We've struck oil! What the hell? Well, that's what oil is, isn't it? Old dino parts, compressed over time. Well, I think it's slightly more complicated than that. Nonsense! Makes perfect sense. Now let's never talk of it again, okay? Okay. I need to find something to scoop it up. Thank you, I, wa I wanted to say that. That worked last time. I'll be all against all laws of probability. Yeah, we're gonna use the hip flask again. Man, it's useful. It's had like three uses already. Awesome. We have oil. And in the next episode, guys, we're gonna revive Pal. Our Pal is gonna be back. Thanks for watching.